This is Mike Mozart of Jeepers Media on YouTube, back again, bringing you the coolest products of yesterday and today. And these business partners created a company called Al Abe Crafts of Cincinnati, Ohio, for Al Carter and Abe Bookman. Look whose name came first, the real inventor of the Magic 8-Ball, as proven by the patent records. This was the first Magic 8-Ball that we know and love today. But the inventor didn't see any of this money. He was found dead on a sidewalk. Fallen from a second story window. No! His partner claimed he was nothing but a drunk and often would stumble through the streets at night, but no one could confirm it. Changing it from the Psycho Slate to the Magic 8 Ball was a huge success. But after Al Carter mysteriously died, his partner said that they didn't make the ball until 1948. Which is a lie, because in 47, they were advertising it as a huge success, selling more than 3,000 pieces a day just in three cities. <laughs> Supposedly, the man that invented Magic 8-Ball assigned all of the rights to his mysterious partner, Abe Buckman, who changed his name at that very moment to Abe Bookman and claimed he invented it, but the patent office patents don't lie. They don't. Did he really sign those over or were they forged after his death? And this is just the first of 60 years of Magic 8-Balls. Quickly changing to this box and then turning into this box throughout the 60s and 70s. And nowadays Magic 8-Balls come in over 100 different styles, including Lemony Snicket Magic 8-Balls. It's one for every Halloween. And some are downright silly. Crazy for text, Magic 8-Ball? LOL. So Magic 8-Ball, was it murder? You decide. And don't forget to rate, fave, subscribe, and send a friend request, and watch all my other cool videos on Jeepers Media on YouTube. Thanks again. I mean, really. <laughs> <laughs>